Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandra from Cesala Design and in today's video I wanted to show you how I made this long tulle skirt. A few weeks ago I realized that I didn't do a dress for an event for quite some time and I wanted to change that. After some thought I got to the conclusion that it will be easier to make two pieces dress and for sure I will wear it more than once. The skirt is the first part and for this video I style it with a velvet top which is actually a velvet dress. Quick note, the velvet dress is one of my most worn dresses and it has a great fit. If you want to see how I made it let me know in the comment section below and I'll make another video on how you can make it. That being said, let's see how you can make an easy to style tulle skirt, ideally during prom time. I use for this skirt 3 meters of fabric, 3 meters of tulle with a width of 3 meters and one invisible zipper. To make this skirt, I started with some math. Here is the formula that I used to calculate where I should cut my skirt. Here is the pattern that I use for the face of the skirt and I fold it two times to be easier to cut it. The tulle part is a full skirt with a double waist measurement to allow me to make some gathers and add more volume to the skirt. I had to lay on the floor the fabric to have room to cut it. I first measure where the waist cut should be and from that mark I measure the length of my skirt in my case it was 1.2 meters because I am tall. But these steps you can also apply for midi skirts or even shorter ones. Make sure to have the same value from the corner. I mark and draw the hem. Next, I cut it. I fold the tool and place the face of the fabric over it to cut it. The third pattern piece that I need was the facing and I made it very easy by placing the face of the skirt over a piece of fabric folded in two. I mark how long I want it to be and cut it. Now that I have all the pieces, I use my serger to finish some edges for the skirt and the facing.
Time to make some gathers. I sew two parallel lines with the length stitching at maximum. I gathered the tulle and made a small opening the same size as where the zipper will be. And I pin it to the face of the skirt. and I sew it together. I attach the facing and sew it one more time. After that, I finish with the serger. And made an understitch to keep it together. To close the skirt, I pin the zipper and begin to sew it. I pin it to the one side and sew it with a regular presser foot. I did the same thing to the other side. I changed the regular presser foot to an invisible zipper foot stitch the zipper. Now that my zipper is in place, I fold the facing over it and sew. And pin the rest of the opening of the skirt to close it. I press the stitch and this is how the zipper should look. I prefer the tool to not be stitched with the zipper 
because for me it's easier this way to open and close the zipper without destroying the tool. The last step was to sew the hem and press it. And this is the tulle skirt. So easy to wear and style. I felt that I needed to take pictures with it in a stylish setting. And what can be more stylish than this charming old town city square? So I went there. It was freaking freezing out there and at one point it started to snow. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or advice, I will really love to hear them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and share if you learned something new and useful. Until next time, let's find inspiration.